Hey guys, welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Ashley, if you didn't know, and I'm pregnant, which you probably do know. Actually, you might not know. I'm pregnant, if you didn't know. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about my early pregnancy symptoms uh, before I got my positive pregnancy test in the two-week wait because I loved watching these videos when I was trying to conceive. If you haven't seen my video where I talk about my fertility journey and how I got my hormones balanced so I could get pregnant, go check that out. But we were trying for six months before we got pregnant. I'm five weeks right now, so it's very early, so you will be seeing this in the future after I'm done the first trimester. Yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, so to get started on the symptoms, I was sad all the time. <laughs> like, just for that week before my period was due, I was just a solid, like, like, down here, like not feeling well. Just like a very mellow mood, just not excited. Not always sad, but just kind of like low, if that makes sense. And then I would get moments of really sad, which wasn't too weird to me because I do often get PMS symptoms of being sad and with the whole fertility journey that we went on I just had crying moments of like what if we can't have a baby that kind of stuff so very emotional <laughs> which continued on. I took more naps than usual. I used to nap a lot and then I don't so much anymore but just kind of like laying on the couch watching TV and like pass out like can't help it kind of naps you know. Um, I got really thirsty which I don't know why that didn't like click in my head that that was a symptom of something different because usually I'm not very good at drinking water. Like I bring my water bottle to work and I'll have some of it but like throughout the day very thirsty. And then I got sore boobs, which I normally do for PMS, but this was like earlier than normal. Normally I get them like right before my period and this was quite a few days before, which was weird. One tip I have for you guys, watch out for symptoms that are different than your normal PMS symptoms. Because PMS symptoms and pregnancy symptoms are so similar, you need to look for what's different to see if something is different, that you are pregnant, right? So, so if you have the opportunity, take notes of all your PMS symptoms a month that you haven't tried or that you tried and didn't get pregnant. And then the next month, refer to those to make sure you're not just thinking up symptoms out of nowhere. Like, I thought one month, oh, I'm getting heartburn, like, I'm probably pregnant. Turns out I just always get heartburn and I never really, like, mentally take a note of it. So that's a big tip for you guys. Near the end of the week, I was getting, like, twinges in my uterus, like, just little, like, not cramps, just little, like, twinges, that's the only word I can put to it, which kind of like made me wonder, but I, because we had been trying for so many months, I really just like closed off the idea that I could be pregnant because I didn't want to be disappointed again. One thing that was really weird is that I wasn't getting cramps, which like I said earlier, look for what's different, not just look what symptoms you're getting. Um, I often get mild cramps uh, right before my period and I didn't get any which was weird, uh, but still, I was not gonna let myself get disappointed, so I didn't want to think I was pregnant. Uh, along with that, I was not bloated, which I always get bloated, like the week leading up to my period, so that was weird. I did eventually get bloated after I found out I was pregnant, but it usually happens way earlier. And my uh, breasts also normally get bigger, and they didn't. Yeah, so those were the symptoms that I got. Nothing outrageous, but looking back, I was like, oh yeah, things were very different than usual. Um, but because I was suppressing all the pregnancy thoughts, I was like, this is just normal, this is fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.